Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to watch the picture with as I walk down the field. If you can see that fence all the way down there, that is about 190 meters. Um, there is a slight hill, so I may disappear from view. You'll be looking at the quad as I walk away. Uh, you can also see that the flashing lights and stuff, and I'll spin it up from time to time. See what we've got. I'm going to walk in the grass, so I'm going to be out of view, possibly here at the front. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a little bit of breakup already. Look at that. You can still see it. Let's see if it clears up. Oh, that's bad. We're not very far away at all. Well, it's still holding. It just gets a little unclear. I don't know how flyable that would be. Maybe I need to walk sideways. That's what I'll do. I'll turn sideways every once in a while. It seems like my body is providing enough interference. Or, oops, it's this antenna I forgot to flip up. Maybe that makes a big deal. That seems like a pretty clear picture. Still got it? All right. Here, I'll hold it out the side here. Can you still see that? Yeah, it's barely in view, though. Oh, it's breaking up. Going down this hill. Blur. You can see the van back there. We're not that far away. I'd say 60 meters. But that's decent. Let's spin it up here again. A little broken up. Yeah, I still have connection with my Devo. Oh, got pretty bad right there. Still got the Devo. I would say we're only about I would say we're only about 90 meters, maybe 95 meters. Because there's the fence that I had measured. Well we still got it though. Let's let's go a little bit more. Picture's breaking up still. And I'm recording this, so I'll do a picture. You should be seeing a picture in picture, actually. I'm going down another hill. We're well over 100 meters now. We're, whoop, we're close to 120 meters. Let's spin up the quad again. Oh, almost took off. Okay. So that's well, that's not great. Um, the fence is right there. I'd say we're within 30 yards of the fence. So that well, the picture looks pretty good when I turn directly towards it. Well, let's see. Keep going. Let's see what happens. That picture is pretty bad. Let's turn around again. Still got the control. Let's just walk to the fence. You can probably see the fence in front of us now. It's probably coming into frame. Turn around. Still got it. My body must be providing a lot of interference. This would probably work a lot better if we had circular antennas. So the fence is real close. Signal's pretty weak, but you can see it still picks up there. Oh, the picture's terrible now, but I'm to the fence. Let's turn around. We're now facing it. Picture's a bit broken up, but not bad. It's actually clearing a little bit. Let's... And yes, I still have control with my Devo. So this is 190 meters. If we are facing it, it does seem to be working pretty well. Of course, I don't know how good these antennas are on these little these little receivers, so we may get more out of that. But let's head back. I'm kind of impressed, though, really. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and mount that inside and maybe bring it back over here and see what happens once we get the electronics inside the quad. See if we get any additional interference that... See, even walking toward it, you'll see some break up every now and again. Almost took off again. All right. Still not there yet. Can you see the van? <laughs> that was all of 190 meters. I might have to see if I can borrow a, a distance wheel. I know a lot of people like to use GPS, but my understanding of GPS is it's only accurate up to 30 meters unless you're using military grade GPS. Maybe I'm wrong. And I've used GPS before. I think it's closer than 30 meters, but it may be picking up Wi-Fi signals and other Google features. Whew, I need to exercise more. Alright, so there we have it. We're back to the van. Little range test. Didn't get to the end of it, but you have a pretty good idea what to expect, at least from this setup.